What's up guys, Ryan Weber here, and we are going to talk about the best gear I purchased in 2021. I get asked all the time, what gear am I using for shooting our videos or taking photos or creating content, whatever it is that we do. And honestly, like I buy a lot of stuff and it's kind of a problem, but that lets me figure out what's good, what's bad. And you know, I can kind of buy it for you. You can figure out if it's good or bad. And then you don't have to worry about buying it and replacing it because I've probably already done that. So I've got three different levels of gear that I purchased. So we're gonna do the zero to $100, the 100 to $1,000, and then the $1,000 plus gear that I purchased that was my favorite gear in 2021. So these are the things that made the most impact for my business of being able to create content, shoot videos, and make higher quality productions for the clients that we work with. Starting off in the zero to $100 range, is this Nanlite Pavotube 6C. This is a little Nanlite Pavotube. It has a really high CRI. Basically CRI is um, how well the color is what it says it is. That's a really simple way to put it, but it has a high CRI. It is battery powered. We'll turn this bad boy on. So it's a nice, good, bright light. So we like to use this as a practical. We can put it anywhere. It is, uh, I have nothing metal around here. It is magnetized, so you can hang it on things with just a magnet. And the big important thing that I like is that it has quarter 20 screws. So you can put this on a light pole. <laughs> you can put this on a light pole somewhere, screw it in, and we like to use it as a hair light. So it sits right above here and it helps separate you from the background. Um, that's our main use of it, but you can also use it as kind of like a, a fill light. You can use it as a light on a product like this. And it's just a really nice um, piece of equipment that you can use that was under $100. It also changes color, so we can go uh, any color you would like. It's got all these little color effects and things that we never use. But really, we like it just because of the versatility to be able to use in backgrounds, but mainly our purpose of what we do is we use it as a hair light to help separate our subject from the background and it's really small and portable and it's just not a huge thing that we have to bring in addition to all of the other equipment. We also really like the fact that it is charged and wireless and charging super, super simple and easy and we don't have to have it plugged in or worry about the battery. It's got a long battery life. So Nanlite Pavotube, zero to hundred dollars. I think it's $90. Uh, I got it on Amazon. We'll link it down in the description. So if you wanna check it out, get it as well. Um, we really, really do like and use this quite a bit, especially another one we didn't mention, product photography. You know, you put it on a table like this, have your product in the middle, it gives a good edge light. So yes, Pavotube. Highly recommend. Next thing, from $100 to $1,000, our favorite piece of equipment that we purchased was the Aperture Spotlight Mount. What this does is it allows a very directional light. It amplifies the light, it magnifies the light. So now this is magnified and shot through harder. So it basically brightens up your light. It's like shooting the sun through a magnifying glass. It gets brighter. This is an attachment we really, really like because it is stronger now. We can shoot it into the ceiling, brighten up a whole room, or it has this thing, I wanna say it's called a Kukulorus, where you can put in little filters and it basically makes patterns on the wall. We really like to use it similar to this, where it makes a little fake window and it just helps sell the fact of like, oh, the light is coming from a window. It's not coming from a window, it's coming from our light over here. So that's what this thing can do. The further back you are, the bigger you can make it. You can adjust it all over the place. We've got different attachments, but we really like this fake window light because it kind of helps us sell the lighting effects that we're trying to portray. We try and mimic a window light as much as we possibly can. It's just the look that we usually go for for our clients because they're typically corporate style clients. And finally, our favorite purchase, my favorite purchase in 2021 for the most expensive stuff. So $1,000 plus is the Sony FX6. It's a really, really high quality cinema camera. What I like about this thing is one, the image quality is really nice. 
We've been shooting on the FX3, which is this, and it's the same sensor, so now we can match cameras, super, super simple, but this just makes it a little easier. It's all in one. The handheld footage looks better because it's weighted like a cinema camera. It's bigger. That's the only downside to it is it is slightly bigger and there's no image stabilization. But we've found that we like the look of this handheld better than we like the look of the FX3, even though it does have stabilization. The huge benefit to the FX6 is the built-in ND filters. So we don't have to bring anything. We bring this with a microphone and we're good. Whatever lens you want, you don't have to worry about filters. You don't have to worry about messing with anything. You have the ND filters, you have XLR audio, you have an LCD screen that looks good, and you've got a great run and gun camera that you can shoot anything super high quality that you would expect to see on TV, Netflix, whatever, and it's just all in this package. So this has been by far my favorite purchase. It's our go-to camera for anything that we do, just because it's so simple to just grab one piece of equipment and go do our thing. So that is it for our three pieces of equipment in those price brackets that we liked purchasing that we thought were our best purchases of 2021. Now we bought a whole bunch of other stuff that we didn't like. And if you wanna see a video about the things that we did not like, our worst purchases in 2021, comment below and let us know. But other than that, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. My name is Ryan Weber and we'll see you in the next one.